Addressing a group of former women appointees of her party in Accra, the National Democratic Congress NDC running mate, Professor Jane Nano Pokojuman touted the party's 2020 manifesto as being uniquely tailored to tackle the problems facing Ghanaians. It is a manifesto that has come from all of us. It has something for everyone. And unlike other manifestos that maybe even we have done in the past or others, or that has become the standard for doing a manifesto, this one was different. And the decision was advisedly taken. We just posed the question at the very, very beginning. Who do you do a manifesto for? For whose sake are you doing this? And as a social, as a social democratic party, we know that the people matter. So if you are taking this big step, then you need to ask yourself, where are they in this whole process? Of course, you can't put all of us in you know, what room will, will hold us and say that we are doing a people's manifesto, but you can go around. And so the initial process was quite interesting. A former Attorney General under the Estwell Muhammad administration, Betty Moldedrusu, has chided both the NDC and the NPP-led government for failing to pass the Affirmative Action Bill despite several promises. When it comes to gender, I cannot even talk for my party on that. When I was Attorney General, I introduced an amendment to the interstate succession law. We introduced the bill on the spousal rights, the rights of spouses on the dissolution of marriage. In 2010, it is now 2020, neither party was able to push it forward, mainly because it was what? A gender bill. The same has been seen of the affirmative action bill that you asked. Madam Betty Mould also said Ghanaians had seen that under the previous administration, the country fared better. Therefore, they would vote massively for the NDC to gain power. We have seen the, development, the difference when we talk about development in democracy. We have seen the difference when we talk about development, even in my area, legal jurisprudence. We have seen the difference when we talk about democracy in education as well. We are not only looking at just the senior high schools, and even when I was Minister of Education, into as far back as 2011, we had been tasked to find our way forward to actually implement a progressive uh, way forward for free senior high school. 